What's up, my Dino Dodes and the Gojitsu crew? Toy Insanity here with another Dynamite video. This is Heroes of Gojitsu round 55. Of course, that means I finally got the third of three Jurassic World Velociraptors. This is Echo. Okay, we're opening Echo. This is Blue. We open him in 45. Uh, it's actually a girl. Her sister, Charlie. We open in 46. And this is their sister also, Echo, which took forever to find. I think technically Moose put it out in a different wave. I did find it at Target, regular price, $15. Just like the first two. But you know, this one commands a little more on eBay and such if you're having trouble finding it. And let's go ahead and mention the fourth sister of Owen's Velociraptor Squad, Delta, they did not make. Okay. They had a mediocre, halfway decent idea of like let's make let's make the Velociraptors. In the stretchy Gujisu dinosaurs, and they didn't even do, they didn't even do all four. I mean, they could still do the fourth one. Who knows? My fingers is crossed. And also, will they ever do another sculpt, another mold, another dinosaur, a Triceratops, a T Rex, an Indominus Rex? I'd like to see it. I guess. Alright, this is Echo. Naturally aggressive, Echo has survived many fights and features a large battle scar across the left side of her face. This mottled blue and beige colored raptor is the second youngest and third largest of the squad. Scar across the left side of her face. Nope. Mm. And telling me who's the largest... Uh, moose doesn't matter either because they're the same size they're the same sculpt and in fact they have the same material inside i think if at the barest of bare minimums they could have switched out the contents make one a little bit sandy make one crunchy but goodness golly gosh they're exactly the same and we will probably never get a Delta. Oh, there it is. Who's your favorite? Oh, okay, my favorite is, uh, I guess, the new one. I like the color. Tealish blue. Stripe patterning down the back. Painted toenails. Same patterning, but it's a dark green paint on light green, light, light, lighter green, olive green, plastic. Vinyl heads. And we all know Blue, spoiler alert, because he's the only one of the four that survives to the second Jurassic World movie. He has, uh, you know, just two stripes, which are coming off. That's what happens when you put paint on stretch rubber. All right, well, let's see that stretch. Tail to head. Uh, arm to arm. Uh, leg to leg. And that's about enough. Okay, set complete. I get these stands on Amazon. They are 10 for $7. And they look great with the regular Gujitsu figures. They're a little wonky for... Uh, the Jurassic Park ones. But I had them pretty good at the start. I think then I slapped a package into them. So I, ha I have this foot coming down and this foot stacked back. And it, look it looked decent. I thought it did at the beginning. But, uh, you know, when I introduce the third to a stand, I'll have them all probably facing the same direction. Probably this direction, since that's, uh, you know, the packaging direction. And you get the nice tail coming at you instead of the tail going away from you. I think those will look good on the display. And I'll just forever be looking at said display thinking, 
oh my gosh, why didn't they do Delta? And then, of course, uh, I've described before you, 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 once you commit to the placement on the stand, you want to just cut that with your blade, okay? And then you could even put a little dab, a little, little dab of super glue there. Okay, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag not endorsed. I, I just, I got so sick and tired of Gucci's figures not standing up. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to throw down the money and commit to some stands. Because, you know, we talked about it. Every other time, they just sit there and squirt there and just never stand up. Not a great figure to display, but they're great figures to let your dog chew up. Unfortunately, uh, you know, you probably only get one chance to do that because it's going to puncture the rubber and the gel contents are going to be everywhere. Contents specifically say... All new material, contents gel. Okay, moose. Very cool. Make Delta. Blue. Charlie. Echo. They are all female. They are sisters. And I think we saw in the last one, something is written inside here. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Whoa, it's stretchy. Your stretch figure will break if you pull them too far. Excessive stretching could result in damage to the toy. Forget the cold or heat. Don't put it in cold or heat. When the figure's cold, it's more difficult to stretch. Do not overstretch. Just lots of don'ts. Don't wrap a tight figure out a person's head, arm, and leg. Don't tie knots too tightly or not individual limbs. Don't pull from shoulders or upper arms. Don't puncture or bite. Keep away from your pets. Don't pull the dinosaur's head. Oops. Don't twist the dinosaur's legs away. <sighs> so there's a lot of rules you got to follow to maintain your figure. You would think to assist in the maintenance of your collectible Jurassic World figure, they would just give you a little stand. They would include a stand. You would think that would have been a thing from the start, except on the, reg uh, on the regulars, I said that they could have been conceived to actually stand up. These ones, I don't know if they ever could have or should have, but like I just said, get, include a stand. Give us a stand, Moose. Come on, give us something to give us a leg to stand on. You know, that's all I ever want in life. Okay, oh, okay, awesome. We did it. We did it. Collected all three. Moose made three. They made all three. Such is the life of toy insanity. Ma, I did it. Can I come home? Can I come home for Thanksgiving? I sure hope so. Hey, thumbs up. Thanks for checking out the uh, video. Check out the Goob Jitsu playlist if you like that stuff. Just out there. That's a world playlist if you like dinos. Goodbye.